welcome to my channel i know that i haven't been posting um as much as i used to be posting um but it's because i'm currently going through a very rough time in my life um i broke up with my boyfriend that i've been dating for a year and a half and just all these dragon ball stuff just reminds me of too much of it it's just really hard like um a lot of people were curious why I started um, collecting Dragon Ball Super cards and I would say that it was mostly kind of, it started because of him. I was always an avid fan of Dragon Ball Super, uh, like Dragon Ball, like I watched entire Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT and just everything. Um, but I was never into card collecting until um, last December. He got really into collecting cards. When we go on dates, he would like sometimes um, go to card stores to get like packs for us. Like it's like, I think the first ever special bird that I pulled is um, this Gogeta Hero Revive over here. Um, yeah, like... Um, he, we went to a store, um, he bought a couple of packs and then I just opened it with him and then I pulled this card and then slowly I got introduced into card collecting and um, the most importantly like I really like Vegeta and Goku and um, he told me that like two of the best cards in the set was um, Awakened Power and Apex of Power and since he had a PSA 10 of Awakened Power I wanted to get my PSA 10 of Apex of Power just so we could have like two of the best cards. It makes no sense. And then um and then a what and then a little bit later uh we went to Hawaii together and then he brought this signed Goku card with him like it's a BGS9 and then we um took this picture under um Kamehameha Highway and he carried this card around with me like at all times because um, he didn't want to carry around the PSA 10 um, like Goku. He didn't want to like risk it, but he was okay with carrying around the BGS 9. And after our trip together, I actually bought this from him uh, for like thousand dollars because I felt like it just had so much of our memories together that I wanted to keep it. And then, um, yeah, that was how I got into collecting cards. Um, like, it was mostly because, um, like, I mean, we enjoyed traveling and having food together, but we didn't really have any collective ho hobby. Like, I like staying indoors, and he liked um, going outside, and um, he played tennis, I played golf. Um, we just didn't really have much things to do during COVID and then we just and then I just felt like it was good to have a collective hobby and then I convinced myself that I just convinced myself to collect cards with him and then I started to really like it to the point that I opened like an Instagram account and a YouTube channel um regarding like tournament of power like so he prom he, he he told me that he wanted to open his tournament of power with me when he got into med school. So I got a tournament of power just to open it with him, and then um, and then like just a month ago he sold his tournament of power for six thousand dollars because like yeah he wanted to travel and have fun and he just. I don't know, he just sold this tournament of power. I, I felt so betrayed because I thought we were gonna, I bought, like, I still have my tournament of power. Like, I don't feel like selling it, but we'll see. Um, it's just that we, we had a lot of memories together, like, and even the cards, like this, you know, this PSA 7 um, Vegeta card that I graded, I actually bought it from him for like $250. And then like, when I look at my binder, right? Um, previously, it was so much fun. Um, every time I look at this Vegito, it reminds me of the Vegas trip that we went together and then I, and then we found like a 
good condition Vegito. And every time I look at this God break, it reminds me of the time that we, um, that I found a perfect God break for him because he wanted one. And then every time I look at this page, like, um, we opened the case of, um, Pools of Warfare. Um, I think he and his friends got like three, three, four cases. And then we opened them together. Um, we all got on um, how to mastery. And this card reminds me of the time that um, he really wanted this card, but it was sold out on TCG. So I think like I paid um, $80 for two of these cards so we could each keep one. And just so many things. It's like he really wanted this card. Um, and every time, like, when I look at Final Showdown, it, like, hurts so much. Like, it just reminds me of the time that we went to Frankincense together just to get this card. And then we lost the NS card because it somehow got into the middle of the compartments. And then we just couldn't get it out. And he was really sad about it. So I got him another Final Showdown from, like, Majin Buu Facebook group. And then I'm just flipping through like this page like like he he bought a um i wanted a balma otakan one and then he bought it and then he was like um i wanted to give it to you um but like yeah um we already broke up so i guess he bought it but i'm not gonna have it and he also had this page it was why kind of like what inspired me to make it. So regarding this page, um, so for our first year anniversary, he gave me um, PSA 10 version of this godly aptitude because I guess I like gold and pink. And then he felt like this card, um, I would like this card, which I do. But just like everything that I'm seeing, it's like, like we pulled these together too. Um, he gave me this card. He had a whole page of this Gojira um, here in five. That's probably why I chose to get it. Like he got into judge cards first. So that's when I started to collect the judge cards. It's just that, um, and I think, I think he gave me this one. And yeah, beers like, so I have a, I have so many, like, I think I have so many Beeruses and so many Gokus, like signed Beerus and signed Gokus because um, his favorite card is signed Goku and like, um, I think Beerus reminds me of him because he likes sleeping a lot and he likes eating a lot. Like he sleeps and eats a lot, a lot, a lot. So I just felt like it just reminded me of Beerus because he likes eating and sleeping too. And then um, he used to tell me that um, I'm like Majin Buu because um, I I get like I get hangry when I don't have food, and then I like eating sweets, I guess. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's like so Dragon Ball Super just had a lot of our memories together. Um, I started to collect because I wanted to have like a collective hobby with him and then I got really into Dragon Ball and then I opened an Instagram account and a YouTube channel and then I had so much fun like doing it and actually like in my Instagram account at first I, like my profile picture was um, a picture of him holding this card like under Kamehameha highway and I used that as my profile because it had like I think the Hawaii trip was like the deepest memory between us anyways I just wanted to make a video to like let you guys know um why I wasn't posting that much and also um I really thought about this hobby and I feel like it started because of him but it's not gonna end because of him like it hurts so much to like look at all the cards and like it I like it makes me pretty sad to look at the cards
I feel like I really couldn't look at the cards without like trying to cry. I'm like, I don't know. Like, <sighs> I'm trying really hard to not cry right now. Um, yeah, uh, I think in my next video, I'm gonna be opening Dropbox 2. So I got Dropbox 2 because um, previously he said um, he wanted to open a Dropbox 2 with me and then I just got it so I could open it with him and I guess in my next video I want to open this Dropbox 2 just to like give it a closure. I don't know. It sounds weird now that I'm saying it out loud. I think it was really hard for me to look at Dragon Ball Super stuff because it just reminded me, everything just reminded me of him. And I just got so sad, but um, although the hobby started because of him, I don't think, I think I love it enough that it's not going to end because of him. I don't want to end this hobby because of him. I still feel so grateful that I got the chance to meet him and we had all of those memorable um, times together. Um, but um, I think it's over, but my Dragon Ball journey isn't over. I pre-ordered Crossbirds Series 6 and like archive boosters and all the reprints. I ordered two of them each because I wanted to open it with him, but I guess I'll just be opening two boxes by myself. Um, it's still gonna be fun. Well, that was just a brief update of what happened in my life that I wanted to share. Um, I think it's 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 all good. Um, I'm gonna like life is gonna get better, and um, yeah. Well, thank you everyone for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.